Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is I Am Loved Church. First off, I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. You know, I just want to encourage you. Um, and for those of you who've never seen me, I'm Jeremy, and uh, I want to preach the gospel to you. The gospel message is pretty simple, but uh, I want to preach in a way you can understand it. <sighs> message is uh, God created everything and he separated good from bad, created us, and he gave us a choice. Fall down, surrender, and worship him, and do what he wants, or to go our own way, and to choose what we want to be right and wrong. Every religion in the world teaches us that we can earn our way to being perfect. We can earn our way to God, right? We can find our own God. We can become our own gods, whatever. We can redefine right and wrong, do whatever we want, right? Christianity is the only religion that says all the other religions are a lie. They're empowered by demonic forces, and I am the one true God. And this is actually what is right and what is wrong with the world and your thinking. So, with that being said, it's also the only religion where God on this high mountain comes down the mountain to help us. Whereas every other religion, we have to climb up the mountain to get to God. Whether it's an actual religion or whether it's just your opinion, right? I found it in myself that one, some days that I would I would recreate my moral um, code within my own self or thinking based off how I felt. And the God of the Bible doesn't do that. Every other religion does that too, you know? And I found that I couldn't even live up to my own moral standard, <laughs> but I would judge people for it too. What? That's insane. That's a hypocrite, right? But Jesus said, I came in the world to speak the truth. And the truth is, I am the truth, the way, and the life. No one comes to God except through me. And what Jesus did on the cross is he disarmed all the principalities of this world. Even the principalities of ourselves. We created our own standard of right and wrong. Society creates their own standard of right and wrong. The government creates their own standard of right and wrong. Every country, every individual person creates their own standard of right and wrong. Every religion creates their own standard of right and wrong. Yet, none of them can even live up to their own standard that they even created. Dang, that's messed up though. But they expect everyone else to live up to it. I expect everyone else to live up to my standards, right? But it, none of us could do it. There was only one man who could do it. And he made himself into a man because only God can do that. Only God could not be a hypocrite about what he set in order. If he made a law or a rule, he would obey it. The Old Testament is foreshadowing Jesus. The Old Testament is saying, who is perfect? You know, when you read Psalms, when you read, you know, what Moses wrote, who actually obeys every single one of these to the T? To the letter, to the idiot, the little cursive, whew, you know? And still, when I first started walking with Jesus, I tried to do that. I tried to live up to the standards of the Bible. And I just, I just kept messing and messing up, messing up. And I was just judging everyone for not living up to this perfect Bible, right? I had a personal experience with God, and that's why I believed. And, and even today, I just Every time I read it, I just try to live up to it. And then when I feel like I kind of am living up to it, I would judge everyone else who wasn't doing that. That's a Pharisee. I mean, you don't have to be going to church to be a Pharisee or be a judgmental a-hole. You can just be a judgmental person. You create standards in your mind 
expectations that you can't live up to, but you expect everyone else to do it, right? And Jesus came to disarm you, and he came to disarm me, and he came to disarm every cultural group, every religion, every society, every um, self-righteousness within our own selves. And there's a lot of us in church that do that. We create these standards that we can't even live up to, and we throw those burdens on others. That's messed up. (laughs) We all do it. But God says, I'm going to finish it. And then we compare ourselves to each other. We say, oh, I'm better than them because of this, because I got money, because I live up to my moral standard and they don't live up to it, which they don't even know my moral standard, or I live up to the Bible and they don't live up to it and I'm perfect and da, 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 da. And Jesus says, I'm finished with all my children that I've created that are all evil and prideful and they think that they're better than each other. I'm finished with it. I'm going to fix this. So we created himself to be a man. And he lived perfectly according to God's standards, not man's standards, God's standards. He lived it perfectly and he was blameless. He was without sin. And then he preached a message. Look at your own heart before you make judgment. And is your judgment righteous? Don't drink and drive because I love you. That's a good judgment. That's a correction. You know, versus just judging someone to make them feel bad so you can lift yourself up. That's a bad judgment. You know, well, I do it, but they don't do it like a child, man. Within that all being said, you know, I couldn't even live up to my own standards. I expect everyone to live up to it. What Jesus did on the cross for you and I is he defeated all the principalities of this world, including the ones of our own intellect and our own hearts. And he died a horrible death that was meant for us so we can be healed of our expectations, burdens, you know? Because if you're burdened with thinking that you're not pretty, what do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna, you know, try to do whatever it takes to feel pretty. And then when you do finally live up to that standard that you created or society created or religious groups created. When you finally do, you start to make everyone else who doesn't look like you, act like you, talk like you, think like you, feel bad about being them because that's deeply how you feel about yourself. But Jesus came to disarm you. And that's what the gospel message is. God's salvation, I'm gonna disarm you and I'm gonna show you who you really are. You are beautiful. You are smart, you are great, but not in yourself. You are great because I love you. And if you believe in me, if being Jesus, right? Then I will set you free from the expectations of the world, the expectations of uh, society, the expectations of religion, the expectation, because I'm bigger than religion, I'm bigger than society, I'm bigger than you. I will set you free from your own expectations and you will truly dwell in the presence of God and you will understand the fullness of my glory, the fullness of my love, the fullness of my peace that no eye has seen, no ear has heard. You will have peace that surpasses all wisdom and understanding. Do you want that? Do you want that? And that's what I want to share with you. What God gave for me to me for free, I want to give to you for free in a way that you can understand it or receive it. You can't earn it. Whether you go to church or whether you don't, you can't earn it. And that's the way this culture and this world is set up. You got to earn it. You got to earn everything. We say we live in a free society. We don't live in no free society, dude. You got taxes left and right. You got burdens left and right. Expectations within ourselves. Expectations from everywhere. And Jesus came to disarm those principalities and said, I love you regardless of all those things. Because I created you. And I have a plan for you. Now, if you're willing to surrender your plans, if you're willing to surrender 
trying to live up to those expectations of the world and other people and society and culture and religion, you will see who I really am. And I'm unconditional and I love you unconditionally. I ain't got no expectations for you. I just ask you to believe in what I did on the cross. That's the gospel message. That was a pretty good one. The other ones, I, I had a lot more details than those. Could probably confuse you. <laughs> yeah, so you're not a mistake, man. It's those sins that you live in and that's what it is, reminding you every day that you're not good enough or making you feel incomplete. God wants you to feel complete, wants you to feel whole, wants you to feel hope, wants you to feel love, wants you to feel security. This world says you will not have security unless you do this, 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 and this, and this, or you'll have this, this, and this, and this, and this. And then the list never, never ends. It never ends. The list just goes on forever. But Jesus said, I finished that list. All you have to do is believe. It's as simple as that. Believe what Jesus did for you it was free, unconditional. Believe in him and you will have the treasures of life that you've been seeking forever. That's the gospel message, man. God bless.